What's up? This is V with your fix for Monday, February 16th, 2009. Brought to you daily by Hollywood Previews and Freeze It Gels and Hairsprays. All right, let's check out this weekend's box office results. Mom, you're just in time for supper, dear. You're not my mother. My mother doesn't have b -b 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 buttons. Do you like them? I'm your other mother, silly. Coming in at number five is the animated tale Coraline, with $15.3 million in its second weekend. Rebecca Bloomwood, occupation, journalist. Dress, Zach Posen. Belt, Todd Oldham Vintage. Bag, Gucci! And worth every penny. Opening at number four is Confessions of a Shopaholic with $15.4 million. Hi, Daddy. You were supposed to call me when you left. There's someone here. What? Oh my God, they got Amanda. They got me. All right, listen to me. Go to the next bedroom, under the bed. Tell me when you're there. <laughs> now. The next part is very important. They are going to take you. Coming in at number three in its third weekend is the thriller Taken with $19.2 million. Were you obsessing, pacing back and forth, staring at your phone for days? Maybe he lost my number or is out of town or got hit by a cab. Or maybe he has no interest in seeing you again. No guy actually wants to get married. And if they do, all they're really thinking about are all the women they're gonna miss out on. I don't wanna be with anybody else. I just wanna be with Beth. And coming in at number two in its second weekend is He's Just Not That Into You with $19.6 million. The number one film this Valentine's weekend was Friday the 13th. That's right, a slasher film beat out two chick flicks on the most romantic day of the year. It made $42.2 million. That's more than both of the chick flicks combined. I'm worried about what this says about our society. For more on everything you've seen on today's show, visit HollywoodPreviews.com. Right on the homepage, I'm V, and you had your fix.